Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The time is currently 11 a.m. and get ready with me to go to college. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Pranked you. I'm not actually going to college, but I thought I'd do like a Gary me if I was to go to college. Um, this could be school as well because I feel like it's gonna be quite natural, minimalistic makeup. But obviously, I'm seeing people doing these, and I'm really sad that I'm not at college to do it. But why, why can't I just join in? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no harm in me getting involved. So I'm gonna get involved, and I'm gonna show you guys what I do if I went to college um, to stick to the kind of no makeup makeup routine. But like, it's actually harder to achieve a no makeup makeup routine than it is to achieve just a normal makeup look. I'm currently trying to find clips for my hair, and it's really, really going bad. Right, okay, got two. They're odd, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, this is basically a what I would do if I went to college. But obviously, I just literally pranked you all. Um, but you think I'm hilarious. So the course I'm actually studying is TikTok. No, I'm joking. But yeah, I'm basically gonna give you guys a full on no makeup makeup routine. Get ready with me. Show you guys what I'd do if I went to college. I feel like I need to answer some questions. So maybe I'm just gonna check if I've got any. Basically, I've completely broken out on my face. Um, this isn't new, this is like a few days old because this is what happens when you come in your period. I haven't had a period in three months because just how I take my pill, but when it is on, it just ruins my brain. I'm just like, oh, I hate having spots and I just love, 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 love when I'm not on my period because I'm emotional, I'm tired all the time. Everything feels like it's going wrong when realistically, life's not that bad, but I'm just being dramatic. Okay, so I'm gonna just answer questions, but first of all, I'm just going in with a toner. I love this toner. It makes me feel so refreshed, so like awake, but also just makes my skin feel so clean before I apply any makeup. And one thing that I would say is kind of like a top tip is definitely make sure that if you are using anything that you're gonna be using your hands for, obviously not this toner, make sure that you do wash your hands before. I spoke to someone yesterday and they said how they don't and they should. And genuinely, I can't describe how important it is to make sure you're washing your hands before touching your face because you do not know where your hands have picked up germs and stuff and all you're doing is spreading that onto your face and it can be very very bad so just make sure you're doing that but as you guys can see I've got like a little spot here but it's not really a spot. it's just like a red lump and here's just like a scab it's not even a spot anymore and we've got another scab up here so we're gonna cover these and I'm gonna give you a really basic natural routine but before I do so I've literally got makeup builded all here and up here so I'm just gonna quickly go in with another cotton pad and just get um, of my micellar water. Just put it on. I wonder if this will work. Does it work? No. And I'm basically gonna wipe all hair, all hair, and especially on that line because I can see eyeliner. And I mean, look, you can just see there's actually quite a lot of black that I'm picking up. So yeah, if my eyes are looking extra dark today, Every day after you wear makeup, I feel like you just see so much more makeup come on your face because I never do anything to my eyes under here. I just always do it like, if I'm doing eyeliner, I never create a line. I just kind of do it there. So, just rubbing. I mean, like, look at how much. It's crazy. Oh, I just ripped out some eyelashes. This is the only thing my eyelashes are ripping out. But I'm trying to get it all off. So that's the only thing I would say about when you get your makeup done. It's just really annoying. Ugh. Okay, I feel like that's enough. I don't want to do it anymore because I feel like I'm ripping my eyelashes out minute by minute. Um, I'm trying to see. Got a little eyebrow brush. So I'm going to quickly brush my eyebrows through. Eyebrow? Uh, got this little eyelash brush. I'm just going to brush my eyelashes for you through to make sure that they're all nice and they're like evenly out because sometimes they just clump up and we do not want to have clumpy lashes. Trust me, we don't. I'm going to do the same for this side. Ah, uh, we're going to answer a question. So someone said to me, honestly, brushing your eyelashes is so important. You realize how many more are still in your face, but you just don't realize when, you... yeah, ignore me. Okay, someone said, so this is like a main question I always get asked and it's how did you carry on not going to education until you're 18? Because it is like a law that you have to, but there is kind of ways and legalities that you don't have to. So that could be earning over a certain amount of money a year that can fund you not to have to go into education. Um, and then there's just some reasonings that people do also take as a reasoning for why they're not going to further education that the government can accept. So it's not 
illegal not to. There is ways and laws around it. Um, people don't know, so they just think like, oh my gosh, it's just being illegal. But I'm not doing it illegally. Like I am able to see what I'm doing now. But this is the Touch Up Moisturising Cream. As you guys can see, I'm using the water cream at the moment. I definitely prefer the purple one more, but the water cream's good just for, at the moment, it still gives you that completely hydrated look. But just to add on to that, because skincare is amazing, and we should really, really make sure we're doing this before makeup, especially for school and things, because this will make your skin still look like skin, and you will not get anywhere near as in trouble as you would if you were to just layer on a bunch of makeup without prepping your skin properly first. So this is just the Essential Glow Moisturiser. So don't get me wrong, this will make you look super, super powerful at the beginning, but it does just sink into your face, lovely. And I've always used this for two years now, and I really, really, really recommend. Someone asked if you ever tried the Inky List. I've actually never used the Inky List. I feel like I should definitely get my hands on it. But it's just something I've never actually used, which is actually quite weird. I feel like it's such a big brand. Someone said, I do you like Prime? For me, there is definitely flavours of Prime that I really, really like. But some of them, I just don't see the hype and I don't think are that nice. Um, but the ones I do like are like strawberry watermelon. I really like the blue one, blue raspberry, I think it's called. It's so nice. But also, all my family like are obsessed, like well, I'm so obsessed with the energy primes. They think they're so nice. But when they gift me the energy ones, I can't drink them because I'm not a fond lover of fizzy drinks and because it's a bit fizzy. I like, I can bear with fizzy drinks now, but still, I wouldn't go day to day choosing to drink them. There's like some particular ones that I like, like Fanta. I think Fanta's quite nice, but personally for me, I still just wouldn't go out of my way to have fizzy drinks. It's just not a bit of me. And if you're wondering what I'm putting on, this is the Flawless Filter. It's kind of used as a primer, but I also like it as just a light coverage over the skin, kind of keep your skin looking nice and tanned, um, and also give it even more of a hydrated glow. No one is gonna question you on your makeup if you're wearing this, I don't think. Um, and especially if you wanna have like a lighter color, so it's even more your skin tone than you can. But I use the number five just because it gives you such a nice tinted glow um and i find in this kind of like times there's no weather that's nice right now um in this country the weather's awful i just feel like having a little bit more of a tanny color always just pops your skin a little bit more okay someone asked me what do i want my first car to be i'm really really stuck on what i want my first car to be i feel like there are so many cars in the market that i look at and i think oh that's really nice i definitely definitely it's my yeah I just use this, by the way, let me quickly just explain. I use this Lancome for under my eyes. It's a really, really nice creamy texture. If you want something that's gonna brighten your under eye, but also kind of keep it very, very glowy. This is like seamless. Like it doesn't even look like you're wearing makeup because it's so creamy and adjusts to your skin. Um, and I also use this in the shade, Oh, I don't know if I can even read it. 62W200. I don't know if that's actually the shade, but yeah. This is the one that I get. Um, and it's so, 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 so good. Another thing I think is crucial is a nice setting spray. I've never not used the Iconic London, and I think it's so, so good. It actually has a little bit of glistening in it. So it's really good if you want to keep the very dewy skin look. Um, then I really, really recommend this one. I'm just blending out this concealer. As you can see, it's just so easy to blend. And it hardly looks like you're wearing any makeup. Just make sure you're blending upwards because it really really does lift the face and the difference of blending upwards is crazy but yeah as you guys can see i've just kind of lifted my face up with that and then this is my go-to if you've got acne if you've got spots if you've got anything in the world this pot concealer will literally change the game for you i've used many different pot concealers and i do like all of them but this is my go-to the nars pot concealer i like to put this anywhere and i'd normally scoop it out put it on my hand and then i just warm it up by doing that and then it's really easy to just blend out um I'm just gonna put this anywhere where I've got like spots or scars. Sometimes you just want it just to kind of like even out your skin tones because I feel like sometimes I look at my skin tone and I think, ah, what is going on here? And then I'm just gonna blend this out lightly using this concealer. I use this in the shade Custard, which is a medium shade. And with my flawless filter, this is just the perfect shade. If you guys wanna get your shades, there's actually so many shades to pick from from this concealer. And this is no way an ad. You haven't asked me to do this. I bought this myself. I remember one of my makeup artists Susie actually said to me like, Amy, you need to get your hands on this, it's amazing. It was when I was going through my bad acne and I used it once and was like, I'm never going back. So I obviously sometimes use different concealers depending on if my skin is broken out or not, but I always end up going back to this one. It's one of my go-tos. Now I'm just gonna set my face using this mist and that's kind of just to put all the products I put on my face together. And also one thing that I'm gonna really do, see, I always went to school with this on and people would be like, oh my God, why? But no one at school would ever say anything to me. So I feel like if I was to go to college, I'd definitely just stick a little bit of this on my spot. And you can blend it out so it's not as like deep and, you know, 
same scene like it is right now but this is just the drying lotion i accidentally peeled it all off without realizing i tried to take the security tag off and then everything else peeled off by the way the security tag was like i didn't steal it i did buy it but it was just stuck on there for ages and i was like i don't want a security tag on my stuff so i scanned it on a self-scanner so they didn't take it off but yeah, I'm just gonna put a bit of dry lotion on my forehead because this spot is like dried up and I wanna dry up even more so it's completely banished from my skin. Someone said, yeah, so back to the cars. I feel like I didn't answer that question at all. For me, I really like the look of Mercedes and Audis. I feel like I'd love to get myself a Mercedes, but I also love the look of Audis. I feel like an Audi's a really nice first car, but obviously I know that is like a bit excessive for a first car and I don't even know if I will end up getting it. Like I'm gonna start looking probably more into my cars soon because I know I've got ages, but i rather have my car ready so as soon as I pass, because I'm probably going to do one of them crash courses, as soon as I've passed, I can just kind of get on the roads and go and have my own car. So yeah, I'm going to start looking at cars probably starting of January, which is really early, but I just want to have it and know I've got it. So yeah, um, I'm so... I'm so, so excited and whatever car I do get, I want to wrap it up and I want to have matte black. I just love matte black cars. I think they look so nice. And when I'm older, the one car that I just really, really want is the Mercedes uh, G-Wagon. It's literally like my dream car. I just love it and I see so many footballers with G-Wags and I just love the look of them. I think they're so nice. And I just dream to have a G-Wagon. Okay, just to put a little bit more of a pop to colour to my face, I use the Charlotte Tilbury contour stick. Now, I understand this is a bit of a pricey, like, it's a bit of a pricey brand. Charlotte Tilbury's not the most cheap. So if you want to get an alternative for this that literally does the same thing, this is the e.l.f. Halo. This is the blush. But I think, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure they also do a contour stick version. So if you want to get yourself on a cheaper one, then e.l.f. is the exact same. The formula's the same. And you can also even get a dupe. The flawless filter which is the elf one which is i think the elf halo go but it's so good and it's the exact same for me i just use this because i haven't actually got my hands on the elf one because i already bought this before the elf came out i'm not going to just stop using it for the elf i'm just going to use this until it runs out and then i'll get myself the elf one because it's cheaper but this one is really really good too but the elf is literally like the same i think the only difference is this one's like i think there's like one difference i don't know what the difference is i can't really remember off the top of my head but there is a difference but it's a tiny difference like it wouldn't make a difference to your face so yeah just a quick heads up. I just blend this out with like a contour brush and my spot's peeking through already. So I'm gonna quickly take this and just blend. I didn't really dab it enough. Okay, perfect. So someone said like driving, do you wanna drive? Obviously I kind of just answered this question, but in case she was wondering, I am like the most eager person to drive. I've always wanted to. And you know what? No hate to anyone that like doesn't have the interest in driving when they turn 17. Maybe you're worried or maybe you just don't really care. But I would literally love to have the independence of just being able to be like, right, I'm going out. Like, I just, I can't wait. Like, I'm going to be so bad. I know it. I'll never be in. Because I just always want to go drive in. But I'm just so excited. And I just know I'm going to have so much fun and i'm just gonna pick my friends up all the time and people say oh you get bored of it but i genuinely don't think i will because it's been literally one of the things i've wanted to do for years i'm gonna just spray a little bit more as well i kind of like every step i do i spray because it just keeps your face really really hydrated to keep it more like skin like okay i've seen so many good recommendations about this and i've never tried it and it's the kylie blush so i'm gonna try it today just so you guys know my baby that i always normally do try and i want to stick to always using and i normally use it every day this is the milk makeup one this is in the shade work now for me blush can be a bit excessive and a bit bait when you're at school or college and if you want to go for like a no makeup look then you don't want to overly do your blush because people will then realize so for me a creamy blush is perfect because it's blendable and it blends into your skin instead of powdering on top so i kind of stick to all creamy products when it comes to my like makeup for school or college um but with this milk makeup brush with this milk makeup blush i think it's the perfect color because it's not too pink um and this is a pretty similar color it's not too pink it's kind of got that little darker warmer tone to it so i'm going to test this one out because i've seen so many good reviews and i just love i love a good blush so i'm just taking my danny levi blush brush right here it's kind of like an angled one so it's really good to just get your cheekbones so i'm just gonna quite a bit i don't really know how this works i'm just gonna take it well, that's nice. It's a really little amount of pigmentation, but that's what I like. You can obviously build this up, but I'm not taking too much. Oh, wow, that's so nice. If you just want a really nice, natural kind of looking blush, this is the one for you. I love the look of this. And this is in no way an ad. This is just me testing out products I buy and never, ever use. 
um, because I leave so many in there and then I'm like, oh my god, I need to use this. But that is a lovely blush to the face. Okay, so some schools, I'm saying schools for people that go to school. If I was at school, I probably wouldn't have done this step of my makeup just because I know most schools can catch you out from mascara and things like that. And if you're not allowed it at all, then it's babe. If you are allowed mascara, under eye mascara is crucial. It opens your eyes up so much more and I never thought this until recently. But if you are at college, obviously, I don't think there's even any rules. So I'm just kind of giving you like a basic routine that doesn't take long at all. Cause I'm talking, this is taking so much longer. But I could probably do this routine in less than 10 minutes. But I'm just gonna take this, which is a brown mascara. Uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna quickly do it in the mirror because it's really hard to do it here. I'm gonna show you the difference. That is the difference in eyes. It just opens your eyes up so much more, in my opinion. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just me, but I love it. So I'm gonna do the next eye. So I'm just gonna literally scoop the mascara using a little cotton bud, and then just go over that with a beauty blender. Like so. Highlighter is another one of my personal favorites. This is how to make your makeup not look so makeup-y and make it look more hydrated. This is one of my personal favorite highlighters. It is the Iconic Illuminator. I've had this for over two years and it still lasted me for so, so long. So what I like to do is just take it on to my hand again and then I kind of just like to dab it. So I've kind of put a little bit here, a little bit on the nose and then obviously in these points, here and here, a little bit under the eyebrow. Here. and then I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm just gonna blend. This is how to make your makeup go from a makeup to a no makeup makeup look because it's just amazing at that subtle bit of glow. Also I'm gonna just quickly take this and just kind of rub my blush brush over my eyebrows just to make sure that they're not too pow. Last but not least, this is one of my clean girl essentials. Oh, that wasn't very clean girl. This is one of my clean girl essentials. This is the got to be eyebrow glue um, stick. This is really, really good if you have eyebrows or even like you wanna have a slick back look for your hair. You can use this as a slick back stick or an eyebrow one. But for eyebrows, I think this is just perfect. And it literally just puts my eyebrows in the nicest place. I need to get my eyebrows done ASAP. So I might even just fill mine in a tiny little bit. I've got this brush, which is literally like an angled one. And I'm just gonna take my eyebrow stuff and gently taking the soap brows. But then what I'm gonna do is go in with a normal, a normal eyebrow brush and just brush these brows into place. And then I just need to make sure I'm cleaning up this bit. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Mainly just this bit of my eyebrows. They're kind of just so thin. So I've just actually just fake put them on. I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pomade, I think it's called. It's called Dip Brow Pomade. It's actually really, really good for your eyebrows and I've never used it until this week. And I thought, oh my God, it's so good. I love this. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep blending out, making sure that I'm covering any of these spots because I keep putting more and more product on over the top. This is what kind of happens when you do so. Okay, and last but not least, if you know me, you know I can't go out without one thing and that is lip liner. So let's get my bag out and let's grab a lip liner out of my bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Original Lip Liner. I'm just gonna use this to kind of sharpen my lip liner because it's really, really blunt and it hurts. Now it's perfectly sharpened. I'm just gonna wipe my lips as the more dry the better. And I'm actually gonna use a new technique that I learned the other day and I think it's just changed the game for me. So you start from the outer corner and stick to your lips, don't overline whatsoever. When you come to the middle, you can kind of overline however much you want. And then do the same for the other side, don't overline. And that is just the perfect amount. And then I do the same for the bottom. And that is how I achieve the perfect lip liner ever. People don't like my lips. People say, oh, you shouldn't overline them and all of this, but I absolutely love doing it. So I don't think I'd ever stop, but that is how I do my lip liner and my whole face routine to make a very non makeup, but makeup routine. My eyebrows are really annoying me. I don't know why, but guys, I'll be back in two minutes. Let me just get dressed and I'll show you the finished look. Okay guys, so I've just got into my Lululemon Sculpt jacket and I feel like I'd wear these with just leggings and just go to college in this. Like I feel like it's just a cute outfit that you can't go wrong with. 
I'd probably even just go in in hoodies and jumpers and things that you probably shouldn't wear to college that I just would. Um, I feel like I've accidentally put a little bit of makeup on my waterline. I think I did it. Um, last but not least, I can't go out without a gloss. And, oh, actually, I feel like I should tell you about my It Girl new gloss. Because I've been loving a new lip gloss recently. And it's just so good. And I was saying to my manager yesterday, like, you need to get your hands on it. She was like, is it actually that good, though? I was like, no, seriously, like, I saw it from an ad, so I was like, are these TikTokers being real? Maybe, maybe not. But I got my hands on it, and genuinely, they was being real. It's such a good lip gloss. I bought it in five different shades so far. But this is the one that I'm using today. It's the Thrill Seeker Glassy Gloss, and this is in the Pine to Apple. It's just such a nice gloss. You don't even need a lot. It's so nice. And it's so spreadable, I love it. So that is my go-to lip gloss at the moment. So this is kind of the look I'd go for if I was going to college. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what videos you wanna see in the near coming future. I have so much planned and so much I can't wait for you guys to see. So make sure to keep around, make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one. And I will see you in my next vid, which will be a good one. Love you all, bye.